40 percent, 20 or 25 percent of the budget that they have in research and clinical research and spend it in Africa. Okay. And this very, it is very easy for that to have a harmonized regulation. It's very easy. There is no custom protection, there is no local manufacturing protection, there is no, all, all this kind of burden and discussion that we can have for hours, this will be. So, ECOX clinical studies. All right, um, you've certainly thrown out some interesting ideas there. I'd like to hear what Dr. Valerie thinks of them, but also, Dr. Valerie, I'd like you to touch on this idea that health is a social sector. It's, it's for the good of the world, the governments can think about that. But when it comes to private investment, it will still be essentially about the bottom line where the biggest investment can be. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I think two things uh, or multiple things here. First, to be for the disruption. I think uh, looking at what you mentioned about clinical trial, I think it's important. But again, we're coming back to regulation or to the devil, as he mentioned, where the we see the private sector as a devil. That means that we see the clinical research as a killer. And I think that is the first piece. And coming back to um, health have been seen as a social sector, as we've seen at the government lead. And we know that is not possible because then it will be a, a low level of care. In addition, we know that government will care about what is most of the people diseases and then we'll go to communicable diseases and we'll go to public health that is good but it's not enough because as we see the economy in africa we have a growing middle income growing um, middle class who will have increasingly oncology issues who will have increasingly um, chronic diseases prevention of diabetes how do we attract that? And usually, even some country to even just doing an RM is difficult. A good scan is difficult because there's not investment, it's too expensive. And I think first, I feel like the private sector have a big hole. But when I look at private sector, I think we usually often see it as the social part of that. But I want to divide it in multiple space. Um, one piece is really an investment. And I think that, for me, is, is not, when you say health, it's not means investment most of the time. It means social, costly, death, or all that thing. But I think there's a lot of level where you can invest as a private sector. One is the pharmaceutical industry. As we saw the Tanya slide, a lot of the drugs that we, we have in Africa, especially the generics coming from India and China, and this is where the industry, of course, there's a lot of issues of producing here, but it's a big, it's a big market. Um, other one, the supplies is really another big market. I just look at the crisis, the Ebola crisis. Um, one of the big issues was not necessarily treatment because it's difficult to have, there was no real treatment for now. But the simple PPE, PPE the protection um, gloves, were almost impossible to order. It was taking two or three months to order any. And you had to go to China. There was nothing produced here. This is a big area of supply chain that is actually using on the day-to-day -day in hospital. But guess what? We still import in most of them, all the gloves. And then the third area is really the service provider. And I think this is a good example where we can have a private sector investing. But the second area that I think you have the investment part, and then you have the business health themselves, because as a private sector, if you have industry in Africa, and people are sick of malaria, or their family are sick, or the women are dying because of simple maternity health, and simple abortion, then it's your business who's it's a loss of your business. Then investing in your employees and their families, investing on health insurance, like we saw, health insurance is one of the lowest. How can we make it sure that we have really more of that? And the third level is all what we talk about, the social part. Unfortunately, a lot of the people see private sector health as a 
corporate social responsibility. That means that the private sector will come and distribute drugs, having photos, go to a village and say, we built one clinic there. But I'll turn it around. I think it's important, and I'm taking mid um, word. He talked about um, social responsibility corporate. Socially responsible corporate. So, social responsible corporate, because I think when things happen in your community where if you have a company doing cocoa and the farmers are having five days a, year, a, a month out of job because of malaria, you will not have your production. Then how can you ensure that they have a good health services? Mm -hmm. Then you can even build a hospital. Yes, it's social, but it's actually benefit for your company. But they say also a lot, and you don't have to do that as a reactive. It's some way where you can do a lot more preparedness because it's I, a high level. And I want to bring Tanya into this, um, especially to discuss this point about you know, are we putting too much on the private sector? Are we putting the cart before the horse here? Because as she has rightly said, uh, the Ebola scare, um, epidemic, for instance, I think exposed a lot of the underlying deficiencies. So how will you ask investors to put money into cancer care? I mean, you can look at Nigeria, four MRI machines compared to the USA, where you have one per million. Yeah. Nigeria is almost 190 million plus. So how are we going to ask investors to invest in these areas when even the fundamentals, the supply chain systems are lacking? Yeah, it's, I sometimes think that we are at the end of one era and the beginning of a new era. And, and what, with, what I mean by that is that if you look at, at health for the past sort of 15, 20 years, it became incredibly donor supported, right? So all of a sudden, and for all the right and good reasons, uh, people were dying across the continent for diseases that were preventable and children and vaccines, et cetera, et cetera. However, it, what it meant was in that vacuum, that when that came in, government sort of said, well, we're getting a lot of money, so we are not gonna increase our investment into healthcare that much. So when you look at the government's investment into healthcare for many, many years, it was almost flat. It increased a little bit, but nowhere near the pace in order to take care of their own citizens. At the same pace, you know, as a private investors, many of these markets were to some